After logging in, you'll come to the My Account screen. Play creation in personal playbooks is identical to Teams. Anything you create in personal playbooks is associated with your account only and can be used with any team. If you'd like to change your in-app name or reset your email or password, open account settings. All the teams you create or have been invited to join are listed in Teams. Select Add New to create a new team, fill out the short form, and submit. Once your new team is set up, start off by choosing Unlock All Your Teams Features. New teams are limited to one playbook and the default uniforms until an unlock request is sent. After unlocking, you can create drills, customize uniforms, have an unlimited number of playbooks, and invite coaches and players to join your team. A recruiter may contact you to discuss Army opportunities for your players, but it's not required to use the app. Promoting these conversations is why Go Army Edge is available and free. The eye icon at the top right is always available, no matter where you're working in the app. There are four tabs. Help displays tips specific to the section of the app you're currently in. Contact has our support and social media links. Video allows you to record your screen activity. Video recording is supported in the Windows and mobile versions of the app. Info has your account name, online status, and patch notes that list the new features in the current build. Three dots next to a menu item indicate there are additional options. Here, we can rename, leave, or delete our team. Let's open our team. This is our team's admin screen. We'll start by taking a look at the whiteboard. The whiteboard works well for rapidly illustrating tactics and strategies. Nothing is saved when you exit. Drawing and editing tools are the same as in playbooks. Telestration is available on the whiteboard and playbooks. Plays can be viewed in 2D and 3D with multiple options for labeling and viewing. Playback controls are across the bottom. 2D or 3D, loop, back to start, half speed, normal speed, double speed. The gray section of the timeline shows the shift has been added. Red indicates pre-snap, and the blue indicates post-snap. The menu items on the lower left and right are contextual menus. You'll see these throughout the app. Their functions change based on where you are and what you're doing in the app. The items on the left have their associated options on the right. When a player is selected, options for the player are contained on the right. In 3D, the right context menu has options for showing and hiding players, Labels, Paths, and Telestration. The left menu has camera controls. There are fixed camera positions around the field, and you can save up to four of your favorite camera positions. You can also follow the ball, a player, or view from any player's perspective. Let's continue by viewing playbooks. The app comes preloaded with a number of example playbooks. The example playbooks are locked and must be copied and renamed in order to make any changes. You can copy entire playbooks or individual plays. Every playbook consists of six sections, personnel groups, formations, huddles, plays, routes, and drills. Personnel groups determine which players are on the field in a play. An offensive personnel group determines how many running backs, tight ends, and wide receivers are on the field. A defensive personnel group sets the number of defensive linemen, linebackers, and defensive backs. The next building block in the playbook is formations. Use your personnel groups as the starting point for each formation you create. All new playbooks come with eight common offensive and five defensive formations, along with special teams for kickoffs, field goals, and punts. In our four downs to a solid team instructions, our first step is setting up all your offensive and defensive personnel groups and formations. Plays are drawn to illustrate how, when, and where the players move. 
Plays are the core of Go Army Edge football. Plays are created by starting with personnel groups, turning them into formations, and then adding motion. Plays can be drawn or copied from example playbooks and then edited to fit your team's requirements. Huddles are added to a play pre-snap. They're created from your personnel groups and usually share the same two or three digit name. When editing a play, select the Shifts button to add a huddle. While not necessary for your whole playbook, having players break from the huddle in drills adds to the realism of the exercise. Like huddles, shifts are added pre-snap. You can either select listed formations with the same personnel group or select final formation and then move the players manually. When editing a play, a route can be saved for reuse later. As you draw plays, you can build a library of routes to apply to other players at the same position. The Routes menu shows all the currently saved routes. In drills, plays from your library are combined with coaching notes to create entire practice sessions, allowing players to get mental reps anytime. If practice isn't possible due to weather, drills can be projected on a wall or displayed on a large monitor for virtual practice. When using Go Army Edge on a phone, virtual reality is accessed in 3D. Use VR in first-person view for the best results. Google Cardboard VR is an inexpensive solution that works well for any team. Try having players run drills in VR with their own smartphones. We'll go back to the admin screen and take a look at the other items there. Recently viewed shows the latest playbook items opened. Change uniforms allows you to customize your home and away uniforms and also create accurate uniforms for each of your opponents. In Manage Users, you add and delete team members and set their role, such as coach or player. Next up is Team Settings. Offense Orientation sets the offense to the top or bottom of the screen in 2D. Uniform Style affects players in 3D. Options are shorts, shells, or full pads. Offense, Center, and defense can be represented with various symbols in 2D. End of route icons can be switched on and off. If preview play before shift is on, you'll see the at snap look of the play in the preview window. If it's off, then you'll see the pre snap look with shifts or huddles if they've been added. Undo notifications can be turned on and off. Graphics quality provides a better option for users with higher-end devices. Admin settings assigns permission levels for copying plays between teams. Restore defaults resets all team settings. That wraps up our Go Army Edge football app tour. Remember to download and print our manual and follow the four downs to a solid team instructions. If you need help, please contact us at support at GoArmyEdge.com. And remember to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter to get our weekly tips.